Good morning. How are you doing today? So this is the third time you're checking up on me. Well, yeah, I seen you kneeling down right there. So yeah, I was checking on you to see if you were okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, I apologize. Yeah, well, no problem. I just want to I just want to get this on record that this is the same police officer that complained about my white my uh, white uh, my white my white um, mud flap and questioned me about my uh, mud flap because the mud flap and then the next day questioned me about my it wasn't the next day, but okay. okay a few days later questioned me about copying the uh, website of the uh, town hall so I can pay my water bill. I like I like uh, video cameras. Oh, so and, do I. Uh, huh? So do I. You're yeah. recording me, I'm recording you. Uh, my name's Officer Miller, if you want to get that on video too. I'm Officer no, Miller. No, I think I, I really like myself the best. My name is Sanford Burlingame. Okay. I've been living in Mount Gilead for eight years. And... Uh, for eight years, the police have treated me very badly. Okay, I'm not a, just Officer Miller. Well, I'm not treating you badly, though. I saw somebody at the town hall, and I was coming to inform you that they were closed. I didn't know it was you. Didn't know who it was. I've been in Mount Gilead for a month and a half now. Well, I've been here for eight years. Okay. I know what the, I know if it's closed, and I have a right to copy. Uh, I'm not saying you don't. I have then a I, then I my mud, my mud flap has been on my car for five years and okay. it, and it passes inspection. Okay, now like I said, I've been here a month and a half. I didn't know if it was your mud flap or if it was stuck in the fender well. That's why I checked. Is there anything wrong with checking? I think there is because when I get pulled over in front of my neighbor's house with your siren blast and whoop whoop, uh, it was the it's air horn. very it's very uh, embarrassing. It was the air horn. And the I didn't pull horn. you over. Excuse me? I didn't pull you over. Well, my lights activated. No, the lights were not activated. Okay, so therefore it was not a traffic stop. I pulled o I pulled over and you stopped in front of me when I hit the air horn. That's right, I because stopped. Because I saw something stuck up under your fender well. I did not know it was your mud flap. So when I saw something stuck up under your fender well, I was checking on you to make sure you didn't run anything over. Well, I've been driving my car for half a million miles. I know, I know what's happening about my car. Okay. See, I don't know that. Like I well, said, I've been to Mount Gilead a month and a half now. I'm originally from Brunswick County, which is over on the beach side. I seen somebody propped up against the building over at the town hall. So I was checking on you. Did not know it was you. And then I see somebody over here kneeled down beside a closed business. Did not know it was you. That's why I turned around to make sure whoever was standing there was okay. But it's always you that's checking on me. And, and for the record, for the record, for the past eight years, when the Bloods and the Crips were outside my, my window at my home, mm -hmm. pointing the cameras into my windows, mm -hmm. and the police, and I called the police, the police said, oh, they should be there because they need to use their cell phones. That's how the police treated me. Okay, but see, I don't know that. Okay? Well, it's your job to know what's happening with the police and with me. Again. Th and that's just one time. Again. Okay, the next time, the next time. You might uh, get a drink? I don't care. The next time, uh, let me see, the next time was August August 4th, 2014, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. There's a knock on my door. I open the door, there's Officer Calicut pointing his gun at me. Okay. Backed up by Pam Smith, the interim police I chief. The interim police chief, uh, Ailes officers, sheriff's deputies, uh, Ethan Brewer, another police chief, because the guy next door shot himself in the arm. So they got to point their guns at me. Okay. Okay. Now this is this this goes on for a long time. Okay. Last year, the end of May, I come home. I, the taxi cab drops me off in front of Steve's Pizza. I'm walking. I'm walking towards the post office. Uh, Pat Presslar and Ben Blake come towards me at the same time. They had to tell me they broke into my apartment because somebody, the next door neighbor, was concerned about my safety, which makes no sense at all because the next door neighbor trapped me on the roof, took, my, took the ladder away, okay? Mm -hmm. Took the ladder away. Uh -huh. 
I'll fix my hat. The sun's I photograph eyes. them, the drug dealers going in and out of that apartment. They hide their face so they know that I'm photographing them because I like cameras. Yeah. They wear shirts that say unfinished business. And Pat Pressler says that person is concerned about my welfare. That person would like to see me dead. They don't care about my welfare. Yeah. Well, see, I don't okay. want... And this I, is the th how I'm treated with the police. Okay. Okay? So you can understand my concern about the police checking on my, because I'm copying a website of the town hall, or, or photographing a cat, or, well, see, or my mud flap. When I'm sitting there at the stoplight, put, go put your camera at the stoplight. When I'm sitting there at the stoplight, I can't see you taking a picture of a cat over here. All I see is you knelt down right there. Yes, and you do know it's me. No, I did not know it was you. You said you saw, knew I it was saw me. Somebody knelt down. This is the third then, time that you've checked on me within what? Okay. Less two, less than two weeks. We'll go with three because I, I don't know, but we'll say two or three, whatever. But I seen you. I seen somebody knelt down over there. Did not know it was you until I pulled in the parking lot and saw you walking towards me. That's how I knew it was you. When I saw you walking towards me, I saw your face. I did not know it was you sitting there, knelt down in front of a building. Two closed businesses. Do you see why I was concerned? I was concerned about your well-being. There is somebody knelt down there yeah. at two closed businesses. My well-being, with a, mu a white mud flap that's been on on my car Again. for five years, see, uh, passes inspection, and I'm copying a website uh, 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 from with the town hall so with, that I can pay. With your foot propped up against the building like this and sitting there like this, did not know you were copying well, down a website. Yes, I am copying down the website. I did not know you were copying down a website. Well, I'm sure next time you're not going to know what I'm doing next time. Exactly, and I'll stop because I'm a concerned person. And you person. will always stop me because you're concerned about my safety. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. It's nice meeting you, Officer Miller. What was your name again? Sanford Burlingame. Nice to meet you. I'm Robert Miller. I'm from Brunswick County. Moved here about, like I said, about a month and a half ago.